How to set up your app using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you a brief tour of the, the, the general setup of how you configure your app with the simple object designer. So let's do that right away. Here's the setup page. And um, this is where you define what is the name of your app? Who are you as a publisher? What is the current version number? So every time you publish your app, the version is uh, incremented. So um, apparently I have really published this app 25 times. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, the object st start object number is where in the object range your app will reside. What the object design is doing that the first time it starts, it will actually fill out all of this for you and it will analyze and find somewhere in the object number range where there's nobody else around. And then take go lit, a, a bit into that spot and say that's where we will start to avoid collision with other objects. Um, if somebody suddenly added somewhere else and used the same object number, you could have a collision and that's yeah, you don't want that. Uh, and the other thing that where you don't want a collision is actually with the naming of things. So everything we make with the object designer gets a, well, we call it a prefix, but then actually we put it uh, at, at the end of the name. Uh, so three letters. So we use your initial, use your company initial, something that makes sure that if you decide to create a table called item, it will not collide with the item table. Or if you create a, an uh, a, a table that is named with like something from another app, it won't collide with that. So make make it your own, uh, especially with this field. The so so and all you get the object designer will give you some setup to begin with. Uh, but but go in and make it your own. The other thing that happens in here is symbols. So symbols is is you know, that's the source code of the rest of the public source code of the rest of what's in your business central. So what has come from Microsoft, what has come from other apps, in order for the object designer to be able to add a new field to a table, it has to know about the table to begin with. Uh, in order for you to create a lookup into an, uh, an existing table, if you are creating something new, it has to know that existing table. If you need to do field transfers from the existing table into your table, it has to know what fields there are. So we need to download the symbols. Um, and that can be done in two ways. Uh, so this question clear cast completely before refreshing. So it tries to look and see, okay, I have most of the symbols and it looks like I have the right version. So there's no reason to go download them again and use a lot of time on it. If you get into something is weird with symbols. You you say yes, and then you download everything for just one once for once and all. Um, otherwise, you can just say no, and then it will just download whatever has been changed since the last time you downloaded. And now we're in here, so we get this code here, and then we go to the login page. We paste in the code. And we do this because symbols are sitting somewhere slightly different than the rest of Business Central on Microsoft servers. So we have to log in again to get access to that somewhere else. So I'm logging in and I'm saying yes. And as soon as I say yes here, and you can close this one again, the symbol download has already started on, on this page. And it was actually done before I had a chance to switch back because if there were any, they, they were very fast updates. If Microsoft, and when Microsoft are updating the base application and updating system application, there's lots of symbols in there. There's hundreds and hundreds of tables and pages and reports and so on. So it can take, you know, in, in marketing speak, we will say a few minutes, it can take 10. Uh, so be aware that download symbols is a great opportunity to, uh, to grab a cup of coffee or something like that, because it does take a bit of time. It's way faster in production than it is in Sandbox due to resource allocation. The other thing you can do in here is actually, you see, init new app, export app, those three, 
um, functions here enables you to if you export app you will get your app as json so you can go if you're doing your development in one sandbox and decide to do it somewhere else you can export your app there and then you can go and import the app again on the other sandbox or if you're into developing multiple applications that are not sitting in the same app file you can juggle around with with apps so you can init a new app and then develop on that and export that and import another one and so on uh, the design of the object design is that you know, you're working on your app uh, so you just go into the object design and you're in your app again again and again so the multi-app scenario is it's something that you can do it's not something that it's that that that's like secondary functionality but it's possible so your mileage may vary uh, the last thing here is to download source code which is for you know when you graduate from simple and, and Simple is in the is in the product name here, and simple is is in the mission statement that we don't want to compete with all the advanced development tools that Microsoft uh, have created. No, that that's that's something else. We want the simple object designer to fit the label. So at some point you might graduate and say, "Hey, now I want to start coding," uh, and but but what you have created with the object designer is not a dead end. You can take the source code here and run with that. Um, there's another video showing how to actually do that. Um, but the important information here is that you're not stuck. Just because you've done a lot of development in the object designer doesn't mean that you have to start over if you want to do something more advanced. You can just continue somewhere else. Check that video. That's the setup page. Uh, I hope it helped. Uh, you can check the links below for more information on the object designer. And um, thanks for watching.